I find it amazing that when it suits YouTube, they use Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up for a massive campaign about Rick Rowling. We didn't do that, YouTube did it. YouTube used it as a fantastic phenomenon of the power of YouTube. It was pretty funny and at the time, and you know, Rick getting nearly a billion votes as the greatest, it was all funny, we didn't take it serious. So when this dispute came up, uh, you know, I saw it in the papers like everybody, I actually went and got my royalty statement out. And on that royalty statement is £11. You know, now, they've used it as a campaign to show how powerful YouTube is, right? Now, I don't have a problem with that, but I got £11 for that. It doesn't matter because, you know, we can afford. We can afford it. We're very lucky that we are that 2% of writers that can make a living. But the 98%, if the 2% have only earned 11 quid, what the 98% earn? You know, if, this was, if YouTube was a small radio station in Stoke-on-Trent, it could not broadcast material that's copyrighted. It would be taken off the air. If you Google the top 10 videos on YouTube, eight of them are copyrighted material. This is from a social network that claimed it's there for you to do your thing. Well, it's not you doing your thing. It's you downloading my thing without asking me. And quite happily, I don't want you to download my thing. Thank you very much. It's my right. You don't have the right for it. I own the rights. Under European law, I have a moral right for you to stop you using my thing. And, you know, what I don't understand is why everybody defends YouTube. Why, do, why does everybody stand up for a giant American company, right, which is dominating the world and doesn't care about any, any writers or care about small companies? It's not about me. This isn't about me. This is about every kid that in the future can't get a job. And I don't care what anybody else says. There is, to me, there is no debate.